Hello everyone and welcome to the Jungle Cafe. Our young ones are very happy because their sports day is tomorrow. I suppose they're going to come in here and be very excited. Oh dear. Hello Solomon. Hello my glory. The others are coming now. Why are you looking so unhappy? Isn't your big sports day tomorrow? Yes, the sports day will be good. But we decided to have a party afterwards for everyone and to have a theme. That sounds like a lot of fun. What's the problem? The theme is strictly ballroom. Oh, how lovely. Everybody loves ballroom dancing. Everybody except me. Hello, Hello Gloria. Hello. Hmm. I believe all of you are going to be ballroom dancing tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, yes, it's going to be great. But Solomon isn't so happy. He says he can't dance. Oh, no. Everyone can dance. Can you walk? Yes. And can you snap your fingers? Yes. Well, if you can walk and you can snap your fingers, then you're on your way. <laughs> what, what, what? Why must Solomon walk and snap his fingers, huh? And what has dancing got to do with anything? How can dancing help you with maths? What, 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 huh? This is just silly. Hmm. <laughs> okay, now, Solomon. Now, to learn some dancing, you have to know some maths. Maths. Oh, yes. That is called translation in maths. What is? Well, translation is like sliding. It's when you move from one place to another without actually turning or changing the shape in any way at all. We describe translation in terms of distance and direction. It can be done with one person or a group of people. I'll tell you what, let me put on some music. Won't you guys help me move all the tables out of the way, completely out of the way, so you've got some nice space here. Listen to the beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now what we're going to do is march sideways to the right for two counts and backwards for four counts. All right, okay. let's go. And one, two. Oh, Harry. Come, 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 come. Let's start again. And one, two, two. One, two, three, four. So see where we've ended up? We've translated two steps to the right and four steps backwards from where we started. Oh. Now let's try this again. What we're going to do is to move four steps forward and two steps backwards and two steps on the spot. Okay. Okay, now let's try that. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, who can describe our translation? We went four forward and two back. So we might as well just go two forward. Good. So we say our finishing position is a translation of two steps forward from our starting position. Oh! oh. So you see, Solomon, you've started to dance. There are other mathematical moves we can make. For example, there's rotation, which means to turn. Now, professional dancers can do this much, much better.
Professional dancers are very good at this. They can turn around many times and not even fall over. That's called rotation and math. Yes, it's not just turning around on one point. Uh, let me show you. Harry, won't you take that chair and put it over there and then stand on it? Okay. Right, and I'll stand here in the middle and you three space around me like that, yeah? Come over here, Solomon. Okay. Now, when I say go, you're going to start moving around in a circle to your right, okay? One, two, three, go. So you see, you can turn around a fixed point. I'm the fixed point. It's called the center of rotation. And now you are rotating around me. Okay, now have you any idea how we can put two types of rotation together? I know, my Gloria, if you turn around and the others turn around you, hang on, I'll show you. Okay. My Gloria, if you turn around like this and the others turn around you like they did, okay, hang on, let me get back in my chair. Now go. Okay, very good, Harry. So I'm turning around a fixed point on the floor here. So the floor, the point on the floor here is the center of rotation. And your center of rotation is me. Now how many times did you rotate around me? Uh, I think it was three times. Well, in maths, we can also describe rotation in terms of the amount of turn we've made around a fixed point. No? All right, it's really easy. Look, let's say your starting point is exactly where you are right, right now, right? Now, if you turn around me in a group and then return to the same position where you are, okay, go. There you go. Now that's a full rotation. Right now, what you're going to do is go only halfway around the circle. Okay, go. Okay, now what do you think that is? A uh, half rotation? Yes, it is. Well done. really learning to dance. Hey, Mavin! Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you know that show on TV where they do all the dancing? Uh, you know that, what, what show? Like, like music videos? Like, no, yeah? no, 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 no. The one where famous people learn to dance with a partner. Um. Yes, I know. Well, what about it? Hey, hey, I can do that. Huh? Do what? Oh, that dancing. Really? Mm -hmm. When did you learn that? Well, I was overseas in, uh, yeah, in England. Uh, right. Yeah. You know, they wanted me to go on that program. What program? You know, that program with the dancing. Oh, 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 that program. Mm. Why didn't you? Well, Miss South Africa was scared she'd look ugly next to me. Love <laughs> <laughs> it. You're too much. I, you're too much. No, 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 no. I can't. <laughs> now, Solomon, sometimes when you're dancing with someone, you've got to do exactly what they do. Like when you're looking in a mirror. Sorry? I'll tell you what, come here. Stand here right in front of me. Okay, now when I move, you copy exactly what I do. Okay. Now put your arm up as if you're looking in the mirror. That's right. Now turn your head and put your knee up. Very nice. And let's go. Very nice, 
Solomon. And now if you put your other arm up like this. Now, we're dancing. <laughs> Guys, don't you want to come and join us and okay. see if you can do this? <laughs> hey, I'm dancing. Yes, you are. Well done, Solomon. Hello, everyone again. We'll leave them to dance and I'll just tell you again what those mathematical moves were. There was translation or sliding where you move forward or back, up or down, side to side, without turning. Each time, you move a certain number of steps in a specific direction. Then there was rotation, where you turn on a fixed point like a ballet dancer, or around a fixed point, like when the children went round my Gloria. The fixed point is called the center of rotation. Then the other move we borrowed from maths was reflection or flipping. That's a mirror image. And the line between the two is called the line of reflection or line of symmetry. I hope that helps you with your dancing and your math too. <laughs> How do you feel about dancing now? It's cool. I'm looking forward to the party. Yeah. Yes, you all definitely deserve it. After all the hard work that you've done to organize the sports day, I hope you enjoy it all. <laughs> what, what, what? So that's why they were dancing. They were learning really clever mathematics at the same time. Translation, reflection, rotation. What, what, what? You learn so much every day. <laughs> Bye, everyone. I hope you guys have a good sports day. And I hope you enjoy learning your dance moves. Bye. Bye.